there. It's time for a little more blenderizer. So, first off, tie head. It's the old chicken head. I love this thing. Um, <laughs> SS-1001 legs. What are you? Well, lightweight legs are kind of a liability right now. And, ooh, immediately replaced with the orcs. Yes, that's sweet energy drain, though. Um, alright, hover extensions. How about a generator, though? The whole reason I put you guys in a smaller category was to give me a generator sometimes. A malum extension. Whatever, I'll take it. And the silent extension, really? Three extensions in a row. Alright. What are we doing weapon-wise? Basic arm rifle, already have it. 150 pulse. Uh, that's gonna suck with this build. Uh, come on. I mean like a thousand MG or something, huh? Okay, arm bazooka. Basic bazooka is over here. That's acceptable. It feels like this thing is gonna need some friggin' stability. Though I need other things first, like being able to actually lock onto stuff. So we're gonna go for this kind of setup again. Mm -hmm. Alright. Feels like it's got better odds in the arena, so, uh... Well, maybe. No, actually, no, I'm gonna go mission, I think. Alright, eliminate infiltrators, that's possible. Very possible. <laughs> Get rid of those because they're not going to be needed. At least I'm not doing this with an energy weapon. I'm going to try to lame it out from the doorway if I can. Thanks, random Texan. Destroyed. No, I've never actually tried destroying just the airborne ones. Does that actually just get the door open and let you move on to the next bit? Well, good. Works out for me if they're not trying. Be the lame, live the lame. Alright, got a couple of them out. It's probably gonna hit. Dang it. Well, oh well. They're gonna have to call the electrician. I'm sure there's plenty of them in this future. Let's say must be repairing giant bits of infrastructure on a very regular basis. How advanced and numerous must the society be to be able to actually support all this constant destruction, you know? You must almost kind of need it to uh, be able to survive. Like, if they're somehow having enough people getting churned out and enough resources getting churned out that they need to constantly blow each other up for decades at a time. Like, maybe stop for a week and then get right back to it. They kind of need to. Crazy Robot Warrior Society. <laughs> this thing feels chunky as crap. I really don't like the orc legs. They drain so friggin' much, and they're really not worth it. Let's recover a little bit. Elevator music. Enemy unit destroyed. 
Thank you, Happy Texan. So friggin' happy about this whole thing. Looks like Diet Kaiser. Oh well, so yeah. Uh, I don't know, this mission's kind of fun. Kinda drags on a little bit, I think. Also, you get kind of weird effects in the hallway sometimes, I'm not sure why. Alright, now the invisible units. Thank you, Diet Kaiser, who never uses his EO. Kind of the main reason I haven't gone and made him in the, the uh, AI arena yet. Because I don't know how to make him not use his EO ever. And yeah, you can kill off Kaiser here. Uh, well, I mean, you can kill him off in this, and this, it uh, won't actually remove him from the arena. And he does get a little upset. And why? He's alright, there's no need to do that. Just sometimes you gotta experiment with this kind of stuff. Well, so now he did just howitzer me. He's also invincible right now. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, what are our next three parts? Mediocre radiator extensions and the same bazooka. Uh, what even is energy? I mean, I guess there's more optional parts at any rate. So that's acceptable. Bam. Yeah, these things don't seem to cool like they should. I mean, Cal was saying about, um... What's it? Uh, the, uh... The energy one's not doing their job. The radiators don't seem to do their job either. Who knows why. Uh, no. Actually, not that. I'm gonna have to deal with a smaller lockbox in order to, uh, get lower drain from this core. There we go. What else can I slap in there? Missile display, rate of fire, no. Power... Power I might as well, really. Negative supplies in the friggin' negative. Er... Energy supplies in the negative. Not negative supply, whatever. Ah, can't brain. It still feels like a mission build. So, let's see... Defend the monorail. That could not be more perfect. <laughs> Guidos will work. He doesn't always do that, but today he works. Raven, security says there are MTs heading this way. Okay, guy that probably smokes. We still don't have power. Radar active. Targets closing. How wasn't it already active? Alright, this thing's got some pretty decent area control, though. So it can cover a pretty decent area right now. Uh, can't recover it very well, but... If needed, that's there in a pinch. Thankfully, this one doesn't require a whole lot of mobility, so we're fine here. Hmm. I like my cannon gun. Things pretty all right. It actually bugged me more than more than it really should have. But they replaced the projectiles from this thing with uh, regular. Like rocket look looking things later on. 
It's just a friggin' straight up cannonball in this one. <laughs> Man, this core is ridiculous with its two optionals. Actually, the third one, I think, is a liability. It just makes you drain too fast. Alright. Roll them wheels. Sky Eye, Turn Boosters, and Pulse Pentagon. Dang it, I wanted my cannon gun. No more cannon gun for me. Oh well. Sky Eye. Any turn Boosters? Yeah, Turn Boosters. It's fine, those things suck anyway. And pulse pentagon. And where in the hell am I looking here? Keep looking back to the pistols for some reason. There we go. Um. Oh, missions again. We don't get anything too harsh. Security mine. Is that the good one or the bad one? Okay, good. It's the good one. Uh, just in case, I will get Huntress in on this. Which is weird. Uh, her Actually, it's kind of funny because her AC probably matches her um, MT the worst. Man, I can't... I'm almost going negative on my uh, energy recovery. Huh, I wonder at what point it actually starts just draining and not letting you have any energy whatsoever. I have a feeling over the course of this run we're gonna find out. Alright, so, get rid of those turn boosters. Get rid of the blade. It is barely noticeably better. I think such an amazing room clearer though. It's like you you have that slight uh, like one or two seconds where you have to go in and turn and everything. That thing already has the room cleared by the time you're done turning. It's great. Love this course so much in this one. It actually holds up pretty decently in later third gen too. It's one of my favorites, but uh, the MG shell core is probably my actual favorite just because it doesn't drain anything. I always have my paranoia about any energy stuff. Always assuming we'll get broken by an update. Also, I'm a little bit surprised that Huntress is alive right now, if you look at that whole situation. So I'm going to take on like five MTs at once without taking any damage. Oh, let's hang back and see how she does. No, I'm hiding behind this. Fine. Pew, 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 pew. It's a pole. I seriously have no idea what a pew research pole is, but it sounds hilarious to me every time I hear it. Hey, Huntress. About that whole you being alive thing, how about that? It'd be a shame if you got killed off this early in your career, huh? But I don't have enough energy to do the job. Oh well. Let's roll this. Alright. Anna FCS. Perfect. Extension um, missile pods. And the back vaporizer. Yes. Alright. So say goodbye to any semblance of energy whatsoever. But this should be awesome. So first things first. Anna F FCS. I like this one. Next, the friggin' missile pods. Or the extension pods. And then lastly, the vaporizer. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Energy supply negative 1200. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, I was thinking a maximum deficit. This thing feels like it needs to be colored after its laser cannon. There we go. Sort of weird yield evangel look going on. Um. Right, those pods are useless right now. I was all excited about the pods, but I don't have a missile to use them with. Uh. All right, let me do an arena fight, just to hopefully reroll for missiles or quad legs or something. All right, E20. Oh man, I should have put in the double battles too now that I think about it. Okay, cold heart. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Get a move on. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. How am I still recovering energy? I've got almost four times less energy than before, yet I'm recovering it faster somehow. Okay, cool. That worked out pretty well. Actually, this linear cannon is doing all right. I could probably do with some stealth extensions. That'd be nifty. Alright. SS RAM legs. XSP extension again. And the basic uh, mid-missiles on the back. Okay. Now, what are the SS RAMs again? It is one of you. Oh, well, crap. Um... <laughs> Finally got good missiles. Lost the missile extensions. And plus, I don't have to kneel. Downside, losing out on that crazy, ridiculous powerhouse that was on the back. Not overweight, though. Alright, this feels like a mission build if I've ever seen one. And there we go. And heli crew. Oh, wait, I made it go away. There we go. It's weird having the white background all of a sudden. Alright, the last one pulled it off. This should have no problem. Entering. Thank you, random Russian. When the helicopter was hit, its cargo was scattered about. I'm about 90% sure that you can get an area out just falling on the water here. Please recover even as with much hovers. Of the cargo as you can. All right. Easy peasy. Oh. Could not be a better setup. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Remember when these didn't suck. Get rid of my blade, cuz. I don't want to accidentally slash these guys picking up these little boxes, which I don't actually have to pick up. Yeah, you don't need them for completing anything. I think you get an optional. Uh, if you, um, you go in and get all of them. I'm pretty sure there's an inside part that's just kind of hanging around when you first come here. I know there's one of the parts that apparently is, uh, remake only that's over, like, hanging out on the pipes. What are you guys doing all the way over there? Also, I don't really have any idea where the hell I'm storing these. Because I'm just kind of shoving them in that little back vent there. 
It'd kind of make more sense if you marked them or something, I think. <laughs> Maybe you're kind of crumpling them up? Or holding them in the free arm or something? Like walking around, it's that picture of that guy with all the lemons. It's like, why can't I even hold all these weird containers? <laughs> After a while, you'd think it wasn't worth it to attack a random pipeline like this with all your crap tons of helicopters. Yeah, I'm on. Um, well, lucked out on that one, I suppose. Just pulse you. Don't need to say thanks when you paid. That's not true at all. I should always say thanks. Alright. <clears throat> Basic Lego legs, DD20s on the inside, and Sabrox on the right. Sounds like the beginning of the end to me. Alright, let's get our EDFs back. <laughs> They in the DD twenties. That's fine. This isn't though. Hang on, is it Sprox or Sproy? I think it was a Sprox. It's a Sprox. Uh, still viable though. Still can do it. Uh, let's say mission again. All right, safeguard alloy sample, perfect. Right, where are you? Here we are. I'm not even worrying about this one. Get rid of that. Actually done uh, done the run with these two before. Just a one-two punch with this. And yeah, you take one in the process, but oh well. Uh, this last one, I'm not worried about rushing. There we go. I can't exactly use that very much. And now it's time for the Lord and Savior fast forward button. Yep, AC Brown shows up, and then no one gives a crap because he never bothers to actually do his job. these on the first guy. It's fine. Mostly the reason that I use them on him. Dang it, don't boost around me. Yeah, mostly the reason I use them on him is I didn't want to get stuck fighting a single guy and then the thing ends up getting destroyed, which really doesn't even matter in this case, because I can just go pick it up, but I just don't want to deal with that. You're all just gone. And there might even be time to go take out Grinder now. He's hilariously inept. Are right, you just gonna take it, huh? Ooh, he might actually fight back. Though really though, this guy is just a complete joke. His odds of even hitting a parry if you're standing still are near nothing.
Dead? Well, I mean, he would have been. <laughs> we'll just end that poking that right through his stomach there. Going straight through his friggin' crappy shield. Alright. Let's roll them wheels. Brick house core, terrier extension, and arm rockets. Uh, please don't make me overweight. Also, I just lost my main source of friggin' damage. Um, well, I mean, I guess I got a new one in the Terriers. Now I'll become, uh, become a, a arena build. Then again, how overweight is this? I mean, not terribly so. I mean, I can at least get new optionals. Uh, let's see. Put those defenses up. And not gonna have enough for the sight lock. Get those defenses down, have enough for the sight lock. What can be dropped? Need like 500. Alright, those are almost. That's almost. And that is, so really as soon as the missiles are used, they can be dropped, or the extensions in the blade. Either one works. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna say Arena. That might be the wrong choice, but... Seems like an idea. Alright, E13. Not a bad build, it just doesn't have the mobility to make good use of that uh, rocket. Yeah, this guy doesn't even matter. Oh boy. What? He just friggin' took all of them out somehow. Oof. Okay, this thing is grounded as crap. There we go. Got some speed. Oh, no, it's not quite enough. It's close enough to keep moving at any rate. Uh, oh well. It's more than enough to take out this guy, though. But then again, he's not exactly a fight. While that loads... We got solid edges, AM40s, and the wave disc. Mm, I'm not sure I like getting the wave disc, but it'll work. Kind of gets rid of a lot of mission viability there. Really, the problem is that the wave disc ends up flying over a lot of the smaller MTs instead of slashing downward at them. And that's kind of what sucks there. But the solid edges, I believe... Nope. Oh well. Mm, what was that? The 40s? AS 40s, I think? No, AM 40s. There we go. Yeah, this is not looking great. I ain't gonna have to do a mission now, because now I just kind of lost arena viability. Well, no. Actually, no. I can still do kind of a pummeling combo with these two. Also, I don't know if my mouse is showing on that thingy... No, it isn't. Okay, cool. That's been blinking there for a while. Alright, let's do another arena fight, because maybe I can pummel something into submission. A C-13. Why do I get the feeling he's killed me before? Or she... or whatever they are. Oh! It's rematch time. Never mind. Who's ready for fun? I'm friggin' walk in here like Robocop. Alright. Robocop approach not working so hot. Drop that. Drop this. 
you just drop that crap and move, please? Thank you. Hmm, probably should have slapped in a uh, damage increase, but I will. blade here. It's fine. A few of those are enough to overheat him. Oh. Sounds like Pup has to go to the bathroom, so I actually may have to call it a part one here after this guy. <laughs> How about that? So there we go. End of part one. Drop a save there. And, um, yeah, be back with the part two.